So this is a tour of where they're living when they're on the Panama field course. It's a really pretty dormitory. There are lots of paintings on the wall, which I love. So this is the first room. This is where some of the girls sleep. Got nine beds in here. Got a little laundry room. And the place where you can just like chill. This is the men's dormitory. And we've got our bathrooms in here. Um, so it's really quite nice. It's quite communal and everything's in one place, which is quite nice. This is a lecture room. It's where we learn things. It's quite nice. And we have like all our equipment for our projects. <laughs> and over here we have the dining room. Um, this is where we have breakfast, lunch and dinner and coffee. <laughs> this is our schedule on the wall. It's what we've been doing the whole week. And we've got a little kitchen in here. It's quite nice. It's quite big. You can't, you can't see much because it's quite dark. <laughs> and I'm just going to end with this like really pretty map of Panama on the wall. <laughs> Very well oh, spotted. No, no, no. Thank you. <laughs> you have a morpho. Oh. Oh. Nice. Wow. So generally with butterflies, you never want to hold them by the wings. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. yeah. What you can do is safely hold them by the body. There you go. Yeah. It'll freak out for a minute, but it'll eventually <laughs> calm down. Oh. Get a nice close look at it. So if we had forceps, we could hold it quite safely mm. by the wings. Um, Eduardo has some forceps, I don't, but we can yeah. hold it really gently by the very base of the wings. My Put your hand out. It'll fly off almost immediately. See those four legs though? Yeah. Oh. Alright, you ready? And is this Nymphalidae? Yeah. Nymphalidae. Nymphalidae. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Look at you. That's why we're <laughs> you can fly. It's very interesting. Uh, my name is Laura, Laura. Um, I'm working currently at the inspectorates over here. So um, we're going to split you into groups. It's wow. Don't touch the plants, don't touch the butterflies. Don't worry. What all this is about? This is about butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> I might know. No, basically, this is what we call our big cage. In here, we do a few stuff. We do what we call uh, outreach, like education, and, and like we bring some group, and when we have to to show a little bit uh, what a butterfly house is like. We do as well uh, some research, because here inside, we have uh, a lot of native plants of Panama. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> wow, it's quite the uh, head accessories. <laughs> To me, just you know. <laughs> Steven's shaking hands. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! He's tasting your sweat. This is how he can decide whether he's your friend or not. <laughs> I was just hanging like that. Oh, oh that's fun. Well, that looks safe. <laughs> Shivani, what if we die? Oh my god, Emily, famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, how do you feel about this? Shivani, if we die, post it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is insane! We've been four, so there has to be. How do we feel about going on this crane on the first, first group? I don't know why we did that. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Esteban was ready to go, and I was like, sure. <laughs> wow. If you feel as you go up that the climate change is like, it yeah. gets a lot lighter. Oh, yeah. More breeze, the humidity gets a little bit lower, it gets warmer. We can move in all directions, up, down, left, wow. right, back, from, back, back, down. <laughs> oh my God. But usually you're close to the canopy and it's it looks deceptively safe. Because yeah. You and there's always a relatively close distance to something that appears solid. <laughs> but obviously, yeah. <laughs>
just like seven tails, six tails up in the air. Lost our lecturer. <laughs> well, not, not lost. lecturer, our supervisor. Our supervisor. Short supervision. Yeah, he's yeah. somewhere behind there. Anyway, he's looking at some birds. And summoned. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently there's something we have to see. Wait, where? Okay. So, this bush has berries on it. And it's just behind a leaf right now. It's a male mannequin. Uh -huh. It's this big, black, yellow, and red. And oh. so come, come this way with me. I see it, I see it. Don't get it. Because there's no, like, so, at close control. Sure. So we need to a remember to get on our list here, right? A cocoa wood upper. creeper, a so little oh, tiny toucan thingy. And a clay colored stretch, exactly. Rain, 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 go, go, go. rain. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Yeah, oh yeah. my god. Wow. Hey. Baby boa. How old is it? Less than Jason, you want it? Crouch down. You gotta get close. <laughs> this is Safety called, briefing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get a picture of me getting bit in the face. <laughs> um, not, not gonna work with this lens, unfortunately. <laughs> you need to get really close. I'm not going to do that. That's, good. <laughs> That's a scene no one needs to see. Get the snake off my face. <laughs> this is, again, it's a baby less than a year old. So this guy will spend, or girl, will spend uh, the first couple years of its life kind of hanging out in brush and in tree, smaller trees, uh, where it will feed on things like small lizards like anoles, rodents, baby birds. Mm. Uh, and then it will grow up to be about three and a half meters if it's a female and it makes it all the way to adulthood. The only thing you shouldn't be afraid of is looking like an idiot yeah. <laughs> in Esme's wise words. <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> Bloody hot today. <laughs> That was a bit messy, <laughs> but we've got her now. Melanie, we need a cage. Please. <laughs> How was it doing with the zip? Fly, little butterfly. Yay! Oh, that's beautiful. What's wow, the family? Wow. wow. Yay. Bye-bye, wow. buddies. Butterflies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> loads of them still in here. Yeah. yeah. I come to need a little bit of encouragement. So I just lift them from the bottom to let them know. Come on. Oh. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. This is the thing that I know, right? are very... Oh, beautiful. Here. <gasps> oh, my God. It's a rather steep climb. So um, the experiment is a, a warming experiment. We're warming the soil um, from the surface of the soil down to the bedrock. We started the, the experiment in 2017 and now it's been running for about five years with about a two year gap. For the pandemic. So, I, yeah, so we've got 10 pots, five heated and five controlled. We've, here we've got you know, groups and plot pairs. So here we have one heated plot to my left and a control plot to the right. Mm. Or it has to be big and heavy, be it oh. In the middle of the jungle, and there's power supply and Wi Fi connection. Oh my god! Ah, my god! 
you know what this is? Malo don't be cool. Going on a night walk. We have 700 hectares across this landscape. We're in part of it right now. Most of it is a sort of secondary forest of different age classes. But then we have native species plantations, we have a teak plantation, we have silver pasture, we have pasture, we had a shade poppy that failed. Um, and so one of the big goals from Agua Salud was to look at how land uses and land use change affect different ecosystem services. <laughs> My first sloth sighting. <laughs> Before we start showing the back, we ask that everyone wear a mask before we start showing the back. We ask that no one touches the back so you can get nice and close and take a look at them. Similar to the species. But this one is a male. So you can tell because he has a penis. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you can pop one of his testicles out. Oh. <laughs> but they're a little small. Sorry, guy, I didn't mean to call you out like that. <laughs> yeah, they're a little small. Oh on this fella. No offense. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, baby. It looks like a tiny one. So it's not a sticky net, right? It's just like mesh? Not a sticky net, no. Okay. Tiny bright lights on it. Yeah. So right now, since I'm training, the method around it is very counterintuitive. Uh -huh. We push all the wing through the net so that you can free the fingers. And this is where you get caught with only one string left and you spend half an hour <laughs> well i spend half an hour and people are more experimented more experienced with it yes yay. Yay. here we go oh hello baby Work, um, and enjoy other people's successes like, 
And then this will summarize it from within me. Think of the next chapter, the next paper, like always be kind of ahead of the curve. Um, I think this is great um, advice, but also I've realized that doing one thing at a time helps. You know, so when you've got to write something, just, just do that. You can have an obsession with multitasking, and I think sometimes you spread yourself too thinly because then you don't get anything done. Um, then you get help uh, early. You know, like we all go to the bar, so it's difficulty, um, and it's fine, and it's just about realizing and, and asking for help until I willing to give up uh, much more than the And then, yeah, this happened like within the first week of arriving at Cambridge, I went to talk um, by a, a, someone at John's had gone to develop a, a surgery, like eye surgery that revolutionized vision, um, but also was a very successful um, physician. And he started his talk by saying, you can only be excellent at two things. And I remember sitting there thinking, <laughs> I'm not good. I don't feel excellent at, at anything, let alone at two things. Um, so, yeah, I, I realized that it's okay to like the X Factor and it comes under the hammer. <laughs> um, it, it's fine, you, you don't have to be like this um, incredible um, you know, person to, to be a scientist. Or, um, and lastly, uh, be proud and you know, take ownership and celebrate every little win. Um, and yeah, realize that you're the biggest expert on, on your project, even if it feels like you don't know much. Um, and that's all. Yeah. Thank you very much. So the standard way that mammals move around is not a I won't be offended if you want to move. <laughs> yes, the lateral sequence gates, the sequence here is left hind, left fore, right hind, right foot. Um, so if I was a stalking predator. <laughs> <laughs> well, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we going to get a question from outside? Sorry, guys. <laughs> this year's projects are by far the most sophisticated, well thought out, well conducted, thoroughly examined, and well presented of any of you. Congratulations to all of you. Um, for giving us such a wonderful array of food this whole fortnight. Por habernos dado una maravillosa variedad de comida durante estos días y esta noche en especial. I'm coming in so early for some of our breakfast. Y por venir tan temprano para hacernos nuestro delicioso desayuno. Muchas gracias. 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 On the course for running such a wonderful experience, Chris. Well, we're grateful for this. No, we're not. Have we got Jason here tonight? Woo! Thank you very much for running the course. It was absolutely a team effort, and you guys made it a pleasure. So thank you. Oh. So can we have Esme? Esme!
Is anyone else? Have you? Anyone else got parts to lend? Bye, Gabby. Bye.